motion to here doing a little doing a little um a review of a a, a video a video converter so here it is i'm gonna bring it up for you now it's called the free ipad video converter and what it does it takes your uh videos that you want to watch on your let's say iphone or ipod or ipad or i i device whatever if you want to watch it on that then this enables it to convert it to a mpeg 4 file and you can only watch videos on your iphone ipod or ipad if it's in an mpeg 4 file so this enables you to uh, convert it so this is how it works it's called the free ipad video converter it comes up like this you can't maximize it so it just comes up in this one bar um this is when it comes up when you download it you click add video you find the video where it is and 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 what it does um you click any of these videos uh for example this one is an flv file which is a flash video and it's only it's 22 meg which is quite big i suppose and this time it says if it says quick time a little quick time symbol it means it's already an mpeg4 movie which means it can be seen on your iphone or whatever and if it's got a little itunes symbol which is not in there you can also drag files in so here we go it's the same folder you can also drag files in if it's got a little itunes symbol that means that it's a m4v file which is an mpeg4 video but it won't be seen but you can't put it on your your iphone because it's got a little itunes symbol by the side of it this is only this is only for pcs this also it can be downloaded for macs but this is this is primarily for pc so here we go if you click add video or you can basically drag one in and let's say this one uh, what is it? It's, it's an M4V. So no, I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose just a random one for you guys. You drag it in. It shows it, and you can and then click next, and you can click any of these onto to an iPhone, or here we go to BlackBerry or to PSP to Apple TV. Apple TV, which means it's a very big frames per second, or to your to your iPad which is also very big if you can see here it says 60 uh, 640 by 480 which is quite big to mobile phone it's really small 15 15 frames per second and 176 times 144 which is quite small as well uh, i've got an iphone and that means it goes to four um 485 times 320 which is good quality 24 frames per second however you can change the the rate of it if you want to um, I've got an iPhone, but I, I, you can say it's to your iPad because it's the same iOS device, and you click iPad, and then, uh, which means it's slightly higher quality on your iPhone, which means it's obviously better, and you click next, and it, and it converts. Now this, uh, it depends how long your video is. If it's a full-on film, it will take about three or four hours, depending on your computer. If you, if, if you're like me and you've got a netbook. Um, and it will take with an, with an Intel Atom one or two gig of RAM. It if it's a, a full on film, then yes, it will take about three or four hours. If you've got either um four gig of RAM, good processor in your in your PC, then yes, it will take one to two hours. If you've got a Mac, it might take even quicker because it's a Mac. Well, most fast most of the faster computer computers out there so this is quite it's only a, a three minute 14 film so it's only take it's only taking it's not taking that long it says it's going to take half an hour which is still quite long but you get what you get what you you pay well, you don't pay for anything you get what you 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 download really and it's called free ipad video converter and it's uh it's free okay thanks for watching this has been fellow mango shinta here doing a little review of free ipad video converter okay thanks for watching guys see you guys see you guys next time